Hello everyone, this is Grace. It is March the 16th, 2021. And today we're going to be taking a look at Deuteronomy 24, verse 5. Let's go ahead and read it and then we'll get into it as to why we're looking at this verse. When a man has taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer up his wife which he has taken. This is one of the laws that was given to Moses um, for, for the people of God during the Exodus. Now, I, why do I bring this up? I mentioned it before. I had learned it from another page. Um, thank you to those creators. But, it came to mind because <laughs> this is kind of hard to explain and I'm not really sure how you're going to take it, but it is what it is. I have to tell you what I know because I, I have to believe that somebody out there is having the same problems that I did. And so I'm going to share my experience. I believe that this year is a Sabbath year. And so that's why this came to mind. So with this year being a Sabbath year, this would be, this could be the year of rest. It could be. I say it could be. Now that said, I have to explain to you why I believe this is the Sabbath year. Because it's from not, it's for non-biblical reasons that I believe this. I'm not, te I'm not telling you to believe it. I'm really not. Um, but I'm telling you why I believe it. So I have to tell you my story. So... <laughs> A while ago, last year, maybe year four. No, it wasn't that long ago. Sometime late last year, I was studying for the Sabbath. Or middle last year, late last year, I can't recall. Last year, sometime, and um, I was studying for the Sabbath year, and I came across. I'm sorry. Yeah, it had to have been like middle last year or early last year because a lot of time went by. I have been studying for the Sabbath year and I came across, I read a bunch of stuff. I came across a bunch of documents. I did it over a couple of days. I was really trying to figure out the truth and you get so many different answers, you know how it is. So I was trying to find the one that I believed the most and I came up with 2021 as the Sabbath year and that's the one that I trusted and that's the one that I believed and that's the one that I went with. But. <laughs> With there being so many lies out there, um, about late last year is when I started studying again. I was like, what? Do I have the right day? What's going on? So I'm studying again and I'm looking through all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I just... I just didn't really believe any of these people. <laughs> We've gone through so much and come across so many lies and deceptions. I didn't believe those. I didn't believe any of them. And I, I couldn't be sure. It wasn't that I didn't believe them. It was that I couldn't be sure. So, I kind of sat back and, um, and then I recalled something. I recalled that <laughs> now this is the, the the this is the stretch part, okay? Cuz it's not biblical. <laughs> but I do recall that in I recall that in my entire life every 7 years I have not worked for an entire year or longer. Literally, I have taken every Sabbath year off except one. And I'll tell you about that one in a second. I have, I would work six or six or seven, six years, and then I would quit my job, I'd move, I'd do some kind of change in my life where I would, it would necessitate me to leave my job. And then I, I would, it was always easy for me to find a job when I quit my job. So it was never a big deal for me to leave it. It, was, it was, just wasn't. 
But so I remember distinctly that I was out for over a year because when I would leave my job then, then I would be sitting at home for a year. The money was never the problem. My family would always take care of me every year without question, pay all of my bills. No static from anyone gave me spending money, gave me everything that I needed for the entire time without complaint and would offer more than what I needed. <laughs> they would one time they would pay my credit card bills. Everything would be taken care of. Everything would be taken care of. The one year that I worked on the Sabbath year, I was an administrator of a large church. I worked through that entire Sabbath year as an administrator at a church. And that was the one time, I think, when I was away from my family. I was living in Florida at the time, away from my family. And I got a job at a church, and I worked through the entire Sabbath year. And that's the only time that I can recall ever working on that seventh year. So the last one <laughs> was 2000. So the last one, okay, so 2007, I didn't work. And then 2014, I didn't work. So let me tell you about the Jubilee. <laughs> the Jubilee I was thinking about this year. It was earlier this year, and I was sitting up, and I was contemplating about the Jubilee year. And I, I, I started to look it up online. And then I realized, <laughs> and then I, I just, I remember just sitting back and just leaning back in my chair and just kind of putting up a prayer to God, saying, God, I'm not going to believe any of these people. I'm, I'm not going to believe anything I find, whatever it is that I find on the internet. This was, I don't even think I looked up one. I think I started to look them up on the internet. And then before I even started, I just realized I wasn't going to believe anything I found. And I was just praying to God. I was like, okay, well, I didn't make a big deal about it. I was just like, well, it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> I don't need to know. <laughs> that's the way I took it. And that's, the, and that's really what I said to myself. I said, okay, well, if it was something that I needed to know, then I felt like it would have been given to me. And so then I realized that in my life, the only time I had ever taken two years off was 2014, 2015, since I began working. Okay. So that's why I came up with, and it just occurred to me, you know, after I had that conversation, <laughs> that that was likely the Jubilee year because I had the the two years off and I'd never done that before it had always been a year a year and a couple of months just a year so 2021 for me just for me is the Sabbath year so now I'm not going to post this by the way I'm not gonna attach this it was too simple to make but I did want to point out a couple of things so, if 2000, if this is going to be a Sabbath year, this could actually be taking place. So, I went and I checked the dates. Because <laughs> if you recall, let's go back to Revelation. I think I marked it here. I did. Here. Let's start from here. One woe is passed, and behold, there come two more woes hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. Okay. <laughs> so that led me to this. So, the new moon was on March the 13th, 2021. Passover, March 26th, 2021. Now, my days may be off. I don't look at the times and stuff like that. I just pick a day. Um, so, actually, that's not 14 days, is it? 13, uh, 23, 24, 25, 26. It's going to be March 27th.
Wait, 13, 14, 15, 16, 26. Okay, that's right. March the 26th, 2021. And then, so next year, 2022, because we're waiting a year for Deuteronomy 24. That's the way to hear. And then 390 days is mentioned. 391 days is mentioned in Revelation. It's also in Ezekiel, as we saw in one of our studies. So, oh, and it's also in the story of Noah. So anyway, let's continue on. So this is not, by the way, if you, so March the 13th, 2021, if you go to, because the, um, the equinox is going to be after the new moon on March the 2nd, it pushes the Passover into April. So the new moon is going to be on April the 1st, 2022, and the Passover is April the 14th, 2022. Now it's not 391 days. It's actually 384 days. If you actually count, if you actually count them. But you know, there's so many seven day time periods in our examples. We have the seven days that Ezekiel set. We have the um, seven days where Noah was coming out of the ark or going into the ark. Well, I guess this would be coming out of the ark of safety. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, those have to be investigated. So I didn't know, you know, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do it, but I did want to let you know where I was. But also, just let me let me tell you that I don't think I'm going to be doing a study on the elements this week. There's something else that I want to study out um, regarding the Passover. It's different, but there's something else that I want to study out, and I want to try to get that done. So I don't think we're going to have a video on the elements this week. That'll have to wait until after, after I get that study done. And then we'll pick that right back up. But I did want to update you on where I was with this because this just occurred to me. So I looked it up and I thought I would share my thoughts on this. Anyway, I guess that's, I, I'm not, you guys, I will say that I, I haven't really been looking for anything to happen. Things may be setting, be, things may be happening in regards to setting things up because we know that a lot that those um that those walls are man made we know that man is going to destroy themselves basically so things may be going on that that set these things up but we also know that we have to have an understanding of the scriptures. We know this from Ezekiel 2, the last verse of Ezekiel 2 and the first verse of Ezekiel 3. That we have to have an understanding of the scriptures before anything takes place. Because we're, we're supposed to warn the people. And if things are going down and taking place, who's giving the warning? Who? Are we not? Are we not doing what we're supposed to do? that we would not have heard it if you guys know of another of um a, a, a web page or something like that um that's teaching the scriptures uh, leave a comment below you're not gonna leave a comment that was pointless but <laughs> you're welcome to leave a comment if you like to but the, the, my point is that my point is that someone has to know the truth before things start to happen. Someone has to know it and it has to be put out there as a prophecy from God. So anyway, 
that's all I have to say about the matter. I'm not excited about anything going on at this time. I will tell you that if it means anything to you. I don't know if it does or not. I imagine you are all probably in the same state that I am, that you're seeing things, changes coming on, but you know that there are other things that have to happen first. So with that said, I'm going to leave it at that. And I'll see you in the next video.